नमस्ते टू ऑल स्टैटिस्टिक्स मीन ऑफ ग्रुप डेटा वी विल सी डिफरेंट मेथड्स फर्स्ट आई विल टेक डायरेक्ट मेथड इफ न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स एंड एफ आर स्मॉल देन यूज दिस मेथड we will see the table class interval frequency it is denoted as fi then we have xi which is the midpoint of class interval then last column is fi xi formula to find mean by this method is x bar is equal to sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi now we will go for second method assumed mean method if value of x and f are larger then we can use this method by assuming mean in advance we will see the table first column is as usual class interval second one is frequency fi third one is midpoint xi next we have column d which is equal to x minus a a is the assumed mean d is the deviation last column is fi di product of fi column and then di column in this method we will use the formula to find a mean x bar is equal to a plus sigma fi di divided by sigma f i after this we have step deviation method this method is very easy to solve all the problems if class sizes are unequal then also we can use this method to find mean now we will see the table first column is class interval second one is frequency fi third one is xi which is the midpoint of class interval d is equal to x minus a a is the assumed mean d is the deviation u is equal to d divided by h then last column is fi ui formula to find mean in step deviation method is x bar is equal to a plus sigma fi ui divided by sigma fi into h problem we'll take on problem find the mean of the following data in question they will give some words here we need only the table for that reason i will choose this simple question find the mean of the following data class interval frequency 15 to 25 6 
25 to 35 11 35 to 45 7 45 to 55 4 55 to 65 4 65 to 75 2 75 to 85 1 we can solve this in different method first i will choose direct method already we discussed the table for this direct method class interval frequency xi midpoint fi into xi write the class interval column 15 to 25 as given in the question 25 to 35 35 to 44 45 to 55 55 to 65 65 to 75 75 to 85 last row is total frequency 6 11 7 4 5 2 1 in next column we have to write midpoint here some of the frequency is 35 which is denoted at sigma fi 15 to 25 midpoint of this class interval is 20 add 15 25 divided by 2 you will get 20 Next class is 25 to 35. Midpoint of this one is 30. 35 to 45 is 40. Same. 45 to 55 is 50. 55 to 65 is 60. 65 to 75 is 70. At last, 80. Now we have to multiply Fi and Xi. 620 is 120. 1130 is a 330 740 is a 280 450 is a 200 460 is a 240 270 is a 140 180 is a 80 now we have to add all fi xi we will get 1390 sigma fi is equal to 35 Sigma fi xi is equal to 1390. We will write the formula. X bar is equal to Sigma fi xi divided by Sigma fi. Substitute the values. 1390 divided by 35. And dividing we will get 39.71. Same problem can be solved in another method, assumed mean method. Already we know the table of assumed mean method. Write it. First column is class interval. Second one is frequency. Third one is midpoint x i. Fourth one d is equal to x minus y. D is deviation. Y is assumed mean of x. Last column is product of f and d. F i d i. In the question, they are given class interval 15 to 25, 25 to 35. Write as it is. And also write. frequency in column f i last row is total frequency 6 sigma f i total of this f is 35 column is midpoint column 15 to 25 midpoint is 20 next 
क्लास इंटरवल मिड पॉइंट इज थर्टी फोर्टी फिफ्टी सिक्सटी सेवेंटी एटी नाउ वी विल चूज द एज्यूम्ड मीन ए एस फिफ्टी विच इज द मिडल मोस्ट थर्म ऑफ द एक्स आई कॉलम d is equal to x minus a 20 minus 50 is minus 30 30 minus 50 is minus 20 40 minus 50 is minus 10 50 minus 50 is 0 60 minus 50 is plus 10 70 minus 50 is plus 20 80 minus 50 is plus 30 now we have to multiply f and d 6 into minus 30 is minus 180 11 into minus 20 is minus 220 Then minus seventy. Four into zero is zero. Four into ten is forty. Two into twenty is forty. One into thirty is thirty. Now we have to find sigma f i d i. Therefore, add same sign numbers. Minus four seventy. This one is plus one ten. On subtracting, we will get minus three hundred and sixty. X bar is equal to a plus sigma f i d i divided by sigma f i, which is equal to fifty plus of minus three sixty divided by thirty five. Fifty. Plus into minus minus and dividing ten point two nine, which is equal to thirty nine point seven one. We will solve the same problem in step deviation method also. First, we have to write the table. First column, class interval. Then second, frequency. third one is midpoint that is x i fourth one is d is equal to x minus a deviation u is equal to d divided by h h is the common factor and last column is f i u i write the column Class interval and frequency as shown. Midpoint twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. Sum of the frequency is thirty-five. Take assumed mean as a is equal to fifty. Now we will find the deviation. D is equal to twenty minus fifty is minus thirty. Thirty minus fifty is minus twenty. Forty minus fifty is minus ten. Fifty minus fifty is zero. Sixty minus fifty is plus ten. Seventy minus fifty is plus twenty. Eighty minus fifty is plus thirty. After observing d i column, it is divisible by ten. Therefore, h is equal to ten. Divide that column by ten. Thirty divided by ten is minus three, minus two, minus one, zero. Ten by ten is one. Twenty by ten is two. Thirty by ten is three. Now we have to multiply f i and u i. Six into minus three is minus eighteen. Eleven into minus two is minus twenty-two. Seven into minus one is minus one. Four into zero is zero. Four ones are four. 
two two za four three one za three. Now we have to find sum of f i u i sigma f i u i is equal to to that same sign number can be added minus eighteen minus twenty two minus seven is equal to minus forty seven. In the same way, four plus four plus three is equal to plus eleven. And subtracting these two, we will get minus thirty six. Now write the formula. X bar is equal to a plus sigma f i u i divided by sigma f i into h. Substitute the values in this formula. Which is equal to fifty plus minus thirty six divided by thirty five into ten, which is equal to fifty minus ten point two nine, which is equal to thirty nine point seven one. Thank you very much.